perfect triple-double. He gets the triple-double against the Sixers, goes 6-for-6 six six from the floor, 6-for-6 six six from the line. Uh, a far cry from the attempts that he usually puts up during the course of a game. So what are we to make of this? Well, it, it, was, it was an unbelievable night for him against an extremely inferior opponent that couldn't defend him. And, and listen, when you look at the fact that he was perfect from the field and perfect from the line, it's important to note that he didn't play a ton of minutes based upon the fact that the game was not a competitive game at all. So, and, and I'm not pouring cold water on the accomplishment. It's 35th triple-double. He's six short of Oscar Robertson's record right now, which is absolutely phenomenal. But 28 minutes isn't normally his minutes load less. And I'm not pouring cold water on the perfection involved. And, and certainly the triple-double record he's going after and bearing down on is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but last night's one of those nights where, again, you're in a blowout situation. No need to play Westbrook in the fourth quarter. They didn't play him in the fourth quarter. That kind of lent to the whole legend of the perfect triple-double. And, and listen, good for him. Guy's been incredible this year. And he's played terrific. And where his team hit a rough spot last week, He's kind of pulled them out of that almost single-handedly. He's pulled them out of that. And they're in a nice position right now in the Western Conference. You know, when you look at them sitting in the sixth seed right now, one game up on the Grizzlies, uh, it's to me it's a big deal for the Thunder to draw the Rockets in the first round against the Spurs. I think they have a legitimate chance to beat the Rockets. I don't think they have a legitimate chance to beat the Spurs. So big picture-wise, Westbrook's doing everything that he can and having just a phenomenal, phenomenal season. Last night's a little bit of a cherry on that Sunday, if you know sure. what I mean. Yeah, between now and the end of the regular season, 11 games for the Thunder. As you mentioned, six to tie Oscar Robertson, seven to break it. Does he get the record? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any doubt. He's, he spells blood in the water here, Michael. There's no doubt. I, you know what I mean? He's, he, and he's that kind where he's going to see it and go after it. Here's the other thing that's important. Keep one thing in mind. I mean, their record when he gets a triple-double is, what, 28-7, and 27-8, and eight, some crazy number like that. My point is this. They're one game up on the Grizzlies. They're one game behind the Clippers for the five seed. And with Utah having some issues lately, they're only two games back at Utah for the four seed, which would mean home court advantage in a first-round series. My point is is that they need Westbrook's triple-doubles to win games, and they need to win some games right now to see if they can make their standing come playoff time be a lot higher. I think he pushes and pushes hard and does everything he can because, again, these triple-doubles that Russell Westbrook gets are in the context of winning basketball games. So I don't see any reason that he lets up now. I think there's no doubt that he gets a record. By the way, if you want to talk about player rest, I think this is the way to do it. If you have an opponent that you don't feel like it matches up well, you know, you take a, your, your shots, you take your minutes, and then you go sit on the bench instead of sitting out completely and not playing. This is a good way to get that rest, sitting out the fourth quarter, uh, and he still gave the fans exactly what they were looking for.